Abiding, abiding in the vine. Oh, I found a new way of living. I have a new life divine. I have the fruits of the Spirit. I'm abiding, abiding in divine. Abiding in divine, abiding in divine. Love, joy, health, peace, he has made them mine. I have prosperity, power, and victory. Abiding, abiding in divine. Kosagbara to Dabiti Jesu. Kosagbara to Dabiti Baba. Kosagbara to Dabiti Jesu. Agbara, Agbara, Agbara to Jagbara lo. Kosi o, kosi, kosi. Kosagbara to Dabiti Jesu mi. Kosagbara to Dabiti Baba. Kosagbara to Dabiti Jesu mi. Agbara, Agbara, Agbara to Jagbara lo. Ye morobo se kate kate ki amare mu kose kete ki yegurubu. Omu seta, omu seta ki mari boso koye ke pose kriya ma ye ke putia. Ake makoro bo se katia ba. Ami mama ma ye ke ta ki tekeida. Api ye, api ye, api mari kama kute ke teke ye kere mo kose ke teke te ya kupuria. Abita ye makoro ba tiaga. Api ma ye kere boso kuteida. Imota, imota, imo se kete, 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 kriyama ye ke mo korobo se kiti yaba. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we have worshipped. I welcome you to another weekly movie in the theater of heaven. Let the actors of heaven take over the scripts and the production of this movie, of this heavenly movie. In Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. The message I want to teach and preach this morning, I have preached it four times ago. In the last eight years, I have touched this subject four times ago. But a few days ago, I found myself in Edinburgh. And in my hotel room, as I began to meditate and worship in the spirit, the Lord appeared to me and said unto me, in my native language, at the beginning, there was just one language in the world. But when God scattered them from the Tower of Babel, he confounded them and they could not understand each other because everybody was speaking different language. The one who created multitudes of language, can he not speak in any native or local language to any of his children? He appeared to me as I worship in the spirit, and he said, a mini, tinge a mini, oba agbomi jeoju, what does that mean in English? I am that I am. 
the king that collects the tears of thy eyes. The king that collects the tears of thy eyes. I was slain in the spirit. By the time I woke up from that realm, I flew into my Bible. Oba Agbomije Oju. What kind of name did God call himself? A king that collects thy tears. A king that collects your tears. Why did he make reference to himself as a tear collector? I flew immediately when I woke up from Darren into my Bible, searching for connection with what God just spoke to me. And I smiled because I knew it. I know what he was saying. In the last seven days, don't know about you. There is a shift in my life. Every time there is a destiny shift, expect some sort of distractions and warfare. A great and effectual door, a door of shift. A great door and effectual is opened unto me. And there are many adversaries. God was speaking in respect of those adversaries. I will collect your tears. There are so many instances in the Bible where the subject of weeping, mourning, and tears were referenced and mentioned. But there is only one place. Yeka, 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 yeka. From Genesis to Revelation, there is only one place where God collects tears. There are two things you can do to teardrops. You can either wipe it or collect it. A matter, a matter. God has dipped me in the river of action. We are faced with a generation of hearers. Excited about the message, joyful about the message. As soon as they leave the presence of God, that message became forgotten. They are not doers. To this man, will I listen? The one that akinets to my words and doeth them. That's why the church of God on the heads, every nation has become powerless. A church of hearers, not a church of doers. Everybody is weeping in our churches. All manner of afflictions. And there are only two things you can do to those things. 
is either the tears are collected or the tears are wiped off. Many people have been praying the wrong prayers. They have been praying Hamis. God, wipe my tears, wipe my tears, wipe my tears, wipe. It's a good prayer, but it is prayed at the wrong time. Seek ye God when he may yet be found. And call upon him when he is near. Until you find him. He can't hear you. He's a God of actions. Our church, our churches have been populated all over with eloquent speakers, influencers. The church of Jesus is not a church of elocution. The church of Jesus is a church of action. Species won't wipe away tears. Elocution can terminate tears. It can give you temporary joy. But you come back to, because there was no action that backed it up, you come back to the same sorrow. It's not for today. Another day, there is a mystery of repeated sorrow. I'm not teaching that today, but take note of it. The mystery of repeated sorrow. Why would God said affliction shall not arise again a second time? It's possible for repeated affliction. When there is no action to terminate the first affliction, the affliction is going to repeat itself. Elocution can terminate affliction. It's only divine action. Osagbara to dabiti jesumi. Osagbara to dabiti babao. Kosabara to da piti Jesus se. Agbara, agbara, agbara to jagbara lo. Kosi o, kosi, kosi. Kosabara to da piti Jesus mi. Kosabara to da piti baba. Kosabara to da piti Jesus se. Agbara, Agbara, Agbara to Jagbara law. So I welcome you to the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, this new week promises to be an explosive, explosive week, explosive week of his power, of his actions. Three people spoke to me from scriptures. David spoke. Isaiah spake. John the Beloved spake. Concerning the subject of Oba Gomije, I've interpreted Agomije to you. Agomije means somebody who collects tears. Our father is a tear collector. But our father is also Oba Anuomije. One is Agomije. The second one is Anuomije. 
if you pray and omidiate prayers, and that's what the church has been praying. That's what the ignorant church has been praying. The prayers of Hanomije. Wipe my tears. Wipe my tears. Wipe my tears. Wipe, 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 wipe. <laughs> Even if he wiped your tears, if the source of that tears is still present, you are going to weep again. You are going to cry again because your prayer was prayed amiss. When thou hast found it, the church has not found the truth. If you speak the truth and you don't act upon the truth, you can't see the results that the truth carry. You can't partake of the benefits of the truth. You are speaking it, but you are not doing it. You can't be praying the prayer of Anomije in a time of Agomije. If he wipe that tears and the source of that sorrow is still there, another round of tears is coming. Repeated affliction. That's what the church is facing. I'm not here to talk about an omige wiping of tears. John the Beloved spoke to me from two scriptures. Isaiah spoke to me from one scriptures, all about an omige, how God wiped tears. What is only David that confirmed to me in Hedibok the dimension of Agbomije. Let's quickly go to David. Follow me to the book of Psalms chapter 56. Ah, da, 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 da. Thank you, Father. Psalms chapter 56. He brother Kaluibe is there. Son of Yahweh, unmute yourself. Psalms chapter 56. Good morning, Papa. Son of Yahweh, the Lord bless you mightily. Amen, Father, Papa. Welcome to your season of explosive power. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Are you in Psalm chapter 15? Yes. Yes, Papa, I'm there. Only one Psalm... I needed. Just one verse. Okay. Verse 8. Verse 8. Okay, I'm on Psalm 56. Verse 8. I'm taking from KJV version. Thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? Add verse 9 to it. When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. Thank you, son of Yahweh. Thank you. Every Papa. adversity, every adversary for pursuing your destiny and family, this day becomes a turning back day. Amen. The rebuke of the Lord shall make them to turn back. Turn back. Amen. Turn back. 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 What kind of cry? Listen to me. Listen to me. 
is not every enemy that you pray the prayer of fall down and die to. Why didn't David say in that scripture that when I cried and prayed unto God, then God said my enemy should fall down and die? The same David told us about an enemy that is too strong for him. I, I sat down on that scripture. I said, what does this man mean? Why I want all my enemies to, to, be, to crumble to dust. He said, for this I know. God is with me. God is for me. Then shall my enemy... Enemies, turn back. If they turn back, won't they come back again? So I began to meditate on that strange prayer. He cried unto God. This is not a fall down and die enemy. There are some enemies of David that God did not permit to, to die. So, internal and extra, they raised warfare against him to keep him on his toes. So, God permits some enemies in our lives to put us on our toes. Then shall my enemies turn back, turn back. Come back, come back, come back, come back in Jesus' mighty name. I said, why? Why didn't God just consume them with fire? Then shall my enemies come back. You must learn to distinguish the enemies that should come back and the enemies that should be consumed. The enemies that turn back is an opportunity you give to such enemy to repent. There are some enemies that are beyond repentance. At that level, you can call down, <laughs> you can call down the fire, the consuming fire of the Holy Ghost. There are enemies God raised against a believer in order to put him on his toes. You've been too careless with your spirituality. You are playing God. God will use that weakness and that loophole of your spirituality to raise an enemy so that your head and sensibility will come alive to know that this thing I'm doing is not right. That's why God permitted this drama for such enemies. When you say fall down and die, you are telling God to, because God is the one that raised them. Can God fall down and die? David is a man of war. From his youth, he was killing the lion and the bear. So he's a man. When he was about to go, God said, your hands are too full of blood. You will not be the one to be. So he has killed and killed and killed and killed until the sword he was using to fight glued to his hand. So it's not about killing. David, who knows how to kill, cannot be prayer of turn back, turn back, turn back for his enemies. He has slaughtered so many enemies. Israelite began to sink. Yes, he's a figure of speech, but he's significant. Saul has killed his 1,000. David has killed his 10,000. So David is a killer king. But in this situation of Psalm 56, verse 9, he wasn't killing the enemy. I cry unto thee, then shall my enemy turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back. So it's God you are begging, you are repenting. Forgive me, Lord. Let this affliction turn back. I know you are the one indirectly behind it. God does not do evil. 
But when you play games with God, God will withdraw and evil will step in. Turn back, turn back, turn back. So this is a turn back prayer, not a fall down and die prayer. Because God instigated it in order to keep you on your feet and to keep you on the path of salvation. You are getting careless with your spirituality. You are entering into religiosity. And it's not a God of religion. It's man that created religion. God is a spirit. Your tithes and offerings and sacrifices. Who owns everything? The cattle on a thousand. He said, if I am hungry, I will not tell you. The cattle on a thousand hills belong to me. So you can't take a few out of those bulls to come and slaughter to me as if I am hungry. He owns everything. May God open our eyes of understanding in Jesus' mighty name. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. He's talking about timing. There is a time to find him. There is a time when he is near. If you are asleep, when he is near, and instead of calling up, you are sleeping on him. You are looking for trouble. The ever-present, omnipresent God is always around us. But why he appears is silent is because we are not pressing the right spiritual button. Seek ye the Lord when he may be found. It's not as if God was lost. He's always there. But in that your situation, it appears God is not there. It's because you are praying the wrong prayers. Instead of praying the prayer of repentance, the prayer of turn back, turn back, turn back, and cry with that prayer. You are doing mighty man of valor. All my enemies fall down, die, fall down, die. And they refuse to die. God instigated them. Are you saying God should fall down and die? There is a time to command the enemy to turn back because of repentance. There is a time to call down fire to consume every adversity and affliction. It is this ignorant face that the church missed it. Seek him when he may be found. Call upon him when he is near. Thank you, Haba. Super blood of Jesus, come and deliver me. Precious blood of Calvary, come and deliver me. Thou tellest my wanderings and put my tears. Put thou my tears in thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? I want everybody to say, thank you, David, for this revelation. Isaiah, mighty prophet of God. John the beloved, the last standing apostle and disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. They didn't get to where David got to. It's the Holy Spirit that gave him that inspiration. That God has a bottle where he collects and stores tears. Isaiah just told us about Anomije, how to wipe tears. John the Beloved talked about Anomije, how to wipe tears. Nobody except David talked about Agbomije, the one that collects tears. 
I said, why is God calling him? Say, I am just lost in worship, enjoying him, and flowing in the spirit. And he appeared. A mini, tinja, a mini, a mini, oba, agomiji oju. Wow. The God, the king that collect the tears from thy eyes. If he doesn't collect your tears, listen to me, people of God. Tears are just salty water. It will evaporate. There will be no remembrance of that affliction. Vengeance belongs to God. Vengeance is mine. Before God goes into vengeance war on your behalf, there is a fuel. There is something that fuels the vengeance of God. You are too small to avenge yourself. People of God, you are too tiny. You are too insignificant to avenge yourself. Please pay attention. You are too small to avenge yourself. David, the man of war, got to a point. He said, help me and deliver me from the enemy that is too strong for me. That's a man of war. He saw something stronger than him. So that's why God said, in that situation when you face an enemy that is too strong for you, it's not you that can step in. We are in the month of carries. Carries lavishly. Lavish grace. You don't merit it because you don't have that strength. Unmerited grace. You don't have that grace. It's not yours. It's his own. You don't merit it. You can't earn it. Is the one that showered you lavishly with it. So this is very critical. Enemy that is too strong. That's where God rejoices and steps into the situation. An enemy that is too strong for me. Help me, oh God. And he said, vengeance is mine. But every vengeance has a fuel. The fuel of God's vengeance is your tears. Ebuka, 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 buka, 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 ebuka, 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 buka, buka, buka. The fuel of divine vengeance is your tears. For that tear flowing from your eyes not to vaporize. You should ask yourself, why did David say, store my tears in your bottle? Are they not in thy book? So there is a book of tears. So what does God do with that bottle? Every bottle has a cork. You either open or close a bottle. But the mouth of every bottle has a cork that covers it. He says, store my tears in thy bottle. Are, is, are they not in thy book? So the fuel, the liquid fuel for divine vengeance are our tears. You have wept in vain. You have cried in vain in the past. From this day, God begins to collect your tears. That's what he showed me in Andy book. I'm a tear collector. You have never asked me once to come and call. All your tears are wasted. 
your season of wasted tears is ended today in the name of Jesus. I pray for prophetically over your life this day. Your season of wasted tears is ended today in Jesus' mighty name. Your tears of sorrow will no longer be vaporized. It shall be collected by God into his bottle. And he will use your tears to write the code of vengeance. Why would God stop tears in a bottle? Oba, agbomije oju, agbomije, agbomije, agbomije. I'm a tear collector. Why does he collect tears in a bottle? He uses our tears as ink in the book of vengeance. Are they not in thy book? As soon as David talked about collecting tears in bottle, he mentioned book. So there is a book of vengeance, the book of tears. He uses our tears of sorrow to write the code of vengeance. Concerning the works of my hands, command ye me. So he has a bottle. He has a book. He must have a pen. A pen of vengeance that he dips into the hink of your sorrowful tears to write out the code of vengeance. Avenge, 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 avenge. Avenge me of every adversity. Avenge me of my adversaries. In Jesus' mighty name. Without your tears, there is no vengeance. He needs the fuel of your tears to be collected in his bottle so that he can use his pen of vengeance to write out the vengeance judgment upon the enemies and adversaries. Don't let anybody deceive you. All the three or four references about wiping tears will not happen on these heads. They are the judgments, the white judgment throne of God. That's where we wipe our tears. And those ones are not even tears of sorrow. They are tears of joy. Heaven is tear free. Kaboka, 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 kaboka. Did you hear what I just said by revelation? Heaven is tear free. It's a place of joy unspeakable full of glory. If there is any tear in heaven, it's not tears of sorrow. It is tears of joy that God wipes. God does not wipe tears of sorrow. God collects them. If you don't ask him to collect, you are looking for trouble. I'm telling you the reason behind many of our unanswered prayers as believers. Yeah, da, 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 da. And there is no barricade, no limits in the realm of the spirit. So you can go back to the time you were born. <laughs> you can go back to the time when you were born. Every tears of sorrow. Every tears of affliction that I have ever shed since I was born. Oh God, my father. Oh Babomije, collect, collect, collect them, collect, 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 collect them, collect them, collect them, collect, 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 collect my tears of the past thing. Jesus mighty name. Your season of wasted tears is ended this day. In the name of Jesus.
your tears shall no longer be wasted. God will collect your tears of money. God will collect your tears of affliction. God will collect your tears of demotion, your tears of failure, your tears of bankruptcy. Only you know what tears you have shed in the past. If I were you with this revelation, I will get a long sheet because all of us have shed all manner of tears. You began to think back. When I was demoted and I had no job, tears of unemployment, I wrote it. When they lied against me and I was persecuted because of the falsehood, tears of falsehood, tears of persecution, tears of fabrication, I write it down. When I was sick and I tried and prayed and nothing happened, I began to cry because of the pain racking on my body. That's tears of sickness. Do you still want me to teach you about what tears you need to write down? Those tears have been wasted. But thank God for the God of restoration. As in only him know where those tears evaporate to. But what was missing is you did not ask him to collect. He said, I am a tears collector. Everybody's name is tied to what they do, not what they say. The postman that come every day to drop your letter, you call him postman because there is something to post. The one that collects your task, you call him task collector because of what he collects, what he does. Look at everything around you and see the kind of name that was given. Names are always given to action, tied to that thing or that person. So God's action is collecting tears. So God is a tears collector. Abomige. Omige means tears that fall from your eyes. And he collects that. To collect tears means abomige. You must settle down the whole of today and throughout this week, this new week. Why does he collect? It's for remembrance. God, God is not forgetful. But he needs to collect those tears so that he can write out the judgment to get to the root of those tears. Stop praying the prayer of wipe my tears. When the source producing the tears is still there, if we wipe this one today, tomorrow, the source will reproduce. But when he collects tears, he uses the tears to write judgment against the source that is causing you to weep. So, Abomige prayers is a higher level than Anomige prayers. That's why all your Anomige prayers has not worked. He has not answered. You didn't seek him when he may be found. You didn't call upon him when he is near. You are praying amiss. Wipe my tears, wipe my tears, wipe my tears. And you continue weeping because the source of that tears is there. Only is consuming fire judgment can consume those tears and the source of those tears. He collects the tears to write in the book, to use as ink, to write in the book of vengeance. Avenge, 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 avenge. Avenge me of all the tears I have ever shed. Avenge me against the source that has caused me to shed sorrowful tears. Avenge, 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 avenge me, avenge me, avenge, 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 avenge in Jesus' mighty name. Kosagbara to dabiti jesumi. Kosagbara to dabiti baba. 
O sagbara, to da biti Jesu. Agbara, agbara, agbara to jagbara lo. Kosi o, kosi, kosi. Kosoru ko to da biti Jesu mi. Kosoru ko to da biti baba. Kosoru ko to da biti Jesu mi. Oruko, oruko, oruko to joru kolo. I welcome you to this season of Hagbomije, where he collects our tears and use our tears to write out judgments against every source of adversities in our lives. So the season of Hagbomije is the season of divine vengeance. If God has not avenged you, it's because you have not asked him to collect your tears. A mini tinja a mini. A mini oba agbomije oju. The God, the King, I am that I am. I am the King that collects your tears. Abakuse kete kete kaye na kiposa. Akite, 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 te, te, akite, 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 te, te, akite, akite, kiposo kumo kute ki yakada. Abakute ke bose ke se ke se kriya kaye ke bosa. Abuto, 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 kete 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 ke ma ye katida. Oh, ho, 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 Gabi ma she gbagbala kuro laye mi ohun to le gbagbala ba mi mu kuro baba igbala okon mi o se ye bi ye ho the salvation of my soul is a treasure of immeasurable words. Let no family, let not this world, let not friends, let no relatives fritter away my salvation. Bago go, 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 bago go, go, go. Bago go go olorun mi ti mu gojule bago go yin yin bago go yin yin bago go yin ho olorun mi ti mu gojule she mi logo baba Olorun ogo she mi logo she mi logo she mi logo baba olorun ogo iwo lo se jacob logo she mi logo Emi logo baba mi olorun ogo iwa lo se dabidi logo se mi logo se mi logo baba mi olorun ogo she mi wa lo she Joseph logo she mi logo 
Thank you, Abba. Receive our praise. Receive our worship. Manifest your power of our dear collectors. Your power of vengeance in this new week. In Jesus' mighty name. That interlude of worship is to provoke him into action. It's a God of action. It's not a God of species. May God deliver our generation from hearing and not doing. I've told you, I've given you exercise and assignment. Go and do it. Take your time from today and begin to draw up a list of whatever has made you cry and give them a name. Tears of sickness, sickness made you cry. Tears of failure, the failure of good things you want to do that didn't come to pass. That's tears of failure. It made you to cry. Write it down. What is that tear in your life since you were born? Did you lose a loved one and you... Please write it down. Tears of mourning. Iaka, Iaka, Iaka. It's an assignment I'm giving you. Draw up is an assignment. Draw up all those lists. And begin to remind God. Imagine me concerning the works of man. He said, bring me to remembrance. Not because he forgot. It's you that forgot. So you must first remember before you call that remembrance before him. There are so many tears you are going to recall. Every tears of failure that I have shed and is wasted, I recall you for judgment. 
I recall you into God's bottle now. You call back those tears and put them in his bottle because he's the tears collector. There is a power that can bring those tears that never got answer. You cried about it. You forgot about it because there is nothing you could do. There is something to do with those wasted tears. Every wasted tear I have ever shed in my life concerning any painful or hurtful thing, I recall you now. I command you to hand back into God's bottom. Enter, 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 recall, enter, recall, enter, recall, enter, recall, enter, recall, enter, recall, enter in Jesus' mighty name. You can recall all those tears. Take your time to draw up the list of tears after you recall them. Put them in because the collector is waiting for you. Our Christianity has not gotten to that level of seeing him, seeing him as Hagbomige, a tears collector. It's not a figure of he has a bottle. It's not a figure of speech. He has a bottle where he collects tears. Thank you, David. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing this to David. Thank you, David, for making us to know that God has a bottle that collects tears, no matter how long. Even when those tears are dried and wasted, you can recall, 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 recall them back and put them in his bottle so that he can use the ink, use your tears as ink of vengeance. Ink of vengeance. Fight, 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 fight for me in the name of Jesus. Because that ink the pen of vengeance will write out judgments against the root cause of your sorrow, of your tears. Thou pen of divine vengeance. Don't pray that one until you are first recall the tears and store it in God's bottle. You now move to the second phase. Thou pen of vengeance. Thou pen of divine vengeance. Avenge, 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 me, avenge me, avenge, avenge, avenge me of my adversity. Avenge me of my sorrowful tears. Avenge me of my adversaries in Jesus' mighty name. Thou pain of vengeance, fight, fight. Fight for me, fight for me, fight for me, fight for me. Fight, 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 of vengeance. Fight, fight, fight for me, 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 fight, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. You can't have a book and you can't have a ink without a pen. Even if it is not written, there is a pen that use the hink of your sorrows, the hink of your sorrowful tears, that writes the vengeance judgment against everything that is contrary to your well-being and prosperity. Revoke the authority of the enemy over your life. And fight. Release the pen of vengeance to fight for you. Thank you, Father. The scripture I want to give you now is just for your meditation. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 6 to 9. That's where Isaiah gave us the revelation of how God will wipe the tears of the redeemed of the Lord. That's a tear of joy. And it will consume death 
as the last enemy. So death is one thing that makes everybody to tear up. Revelation chapter 7, the one of Isaiah is Isaiah 25, verse 6 to 7. Then Revelation chapter 7, verse 13 to 17. Emphasis on verse 17. Revelation chapter 7, verse 13 to 17. And finally, Revelation chapter 21. It is repeated there. Revelation chapter 21, verse 3 to 4. So what is revealed there? How God wiped tears. And he didn't come to tell me that he is Oba Anomije. He appeared to me in Edinburgh. And he said, a mini thing, a mini, a mini oba abomije. There are some tears you have not shed now. You don't even know what is coming that will make you to share. If you can pray this prayer, it's a prayer that anticipates a future sorrow and tackle them before they come. In fact, when Mr. Sorrow say, says that you are already praying at Bomije prayers, and knowing what will happen, that if it causes you to sorrow, and God manages to collect the tears of your sorrow, judgment of vengeance shall be written against him. Mr. Sorrow will flee. Anticipated prayer. That prayer has power to anticipate the future, has power to go back into the past and break all the dried and wasted tears and put them in his bottle. Avenge, 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 avenge me of every adversity in Jesus' mighty name. If you have broken your bread into seven pieces and you have prepared your drink, Hear me and hear me now. Every broken pieces of bread under the sound of my voice be converted to the broken body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every drink under the sound of my voice be converted to the precious blood of Jesus shed at Calvary for the remission of our sins and redemption of our souls. I christen this table, the table of Agbomije, the table of Oba Agbomije, the table of the king that collects our tears in his bottle. Maya Basaka. As we partake of this table of Agbomije, let every source of sorrow in any area of our lives receive the judgment of vengeance. Avenge, 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 avenge me of every source of sorrow in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, O oh God of vengeance. Receive our praise in Jesus' mighty name. Go forth into this new week with your roaring vengeance against everything that has made us to shed tears of sorrow in the past. And recall the tears, the wasted tears Store them in your bottle and use your pen of vengeance to write out judgment against every such sorrowful source in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Oba Gomije. We surrender our pains, our hearts, our adversities, our afflictions, our sicknesses, our sorrows, we surrender them on this table of Agbomije. Collect, 
Colette, 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 Colette our sorrowful tears. Write them out with your pen of vengeance. A judgment against every source of our sorrows. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Hoba Gomije. Receive our praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We share the grace in fellowship now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Before we shout seven agomije hallelujah, some of you sit down before a screen and watch three hour, two hour movie. This one, this heavenly movie we do every Sunday is just one hour. If you can sit down for two and a half hours, three hours to watch India or any, any whatever worldly movie, take your time for this one hour weekly to inspire you to greater heights at the beginning of every new week. Today marks the end of every wasted tears in your life. No more tears. No more sorrow. By reason of the power of Oba Agumije, is your season of Agumije testimonies. I say it's your season of vengeance testimonies. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Let's shout seven Agumije hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Peace unto you. In Jesus' mighty name. You can now begin to eat and to drink from the table of Hagomiji. It is well with you. Go forth into this new week and crush under your feet every adversity that wants you to cry. Every affliction that is making you to weep. Then shall my enemies turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back. May every adversity plotted that followed you into this week or being plotted against you in this new week, may they turn back and go back to their owners to consume their owners in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Receive our praise. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.